Since 1955, waterfall biologists have been surveying duck brood populations and summer wetland conditions across North Dakota. We have a total of 18 routes that we run across eastern and north central and northwest North Dakota. Uh, they're all about 30 miles long. Um, we check out the broods and wetland conditions an uh, eighth of a mile each side of the road. The biologists drive slowly, stopping at every wetland on their routes. The surveys are run the first two hours of the morning and the last two hours of the evening when the broods are more active. We're typically looking for conditions that are low winds, fair skies, so that we can get good light on the broods to do speciation and then also classify the age of them as uh, duckling classifications, whether they're kind of little down fuzzy ducklings or almost grown up ducklings. Szymanski says the survey data is used to make sure there are no major problems with duck production like we saw in the 80s and the early 90s. And the data is also used to help waterfall hunters. We also use it to project a fall flight forecast uh, so that we can provide a little bit of a season forecast to waterfall hunters. With the lack of moisture this summer and the hot temperatures, wetland conditions are suffering. We're going to have a little bit of time here where wetland conditions probably aren't going to be very good, but over the long term as they re-wet, that's what maintains the productivity in the prairie pothole region. This is Mike Anderson, Outdoors.